Hey my friends, welcome to Making Clouds with Mud Flat. Nice little Saturday get together here for us. For me it's just around noon time. I've been watching a little bit of the Pot TV broadcast with Normal from the Vapor Lounge in Toronto. They're having a whole shit show there with the Karma Cup. Just sitting around enjoying some bowls. We thought we'd clean up the godforsaken gauntlet. She was getting a little dirty. I've been using the hell out of her, but seeing as today's videos that I'll be putting up um, will somewhat pertain to that. I think uh, I've got a few things that I'm going to talk about today. I'm winding down. I'm going to go back to work on Monday. It's Saturday, so uh, yeah, it's coming a little too fast for my liking. But um, what I'm going to throw up in today's video um, will be my last few days spent at Chili Boo's in the Chilcotin. I hung around his grow rooms a little bit just uh, enjoying the foliage because I don't get to see that all that often here in this area so I just uh, took some footage while I was hanging out there. So I'm sitting here in the elusive garden that I have traveled many miles across the country to get to and I just had to lay down here and look upon all these wonderful strains. This is the Girl Scouts cook. Girl, 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 girl. <laughs> I can't even speak. It's been like that this whole trip. I just don't know what to say. I'm sorry if I'm going away in the lights, but wow. You can see this from a whole different angle too. It's something else. Sorry. You can kind of see without the covered lens of the blue glasses. Now from the top which is probably at least five, eight to six feet tall from my height and where I'm holding this. So these are tall babies that are maybe not even a foot off the ground. And this, this is the Oregon Purple, the size of my fist. Put the glasses on you right at the top of the garden, looking at these beautiful, beautiful frosty lights. Everything's just perfect. I just, I don't get a chance to stand in the room like this. that the other room was too intrusive for me to just walk in here. And Are you recording? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'll stop talking, but I just gotta mention the folks at home. I'm trying to get in there and water those sad looking plants, and that goddamn bigfoot won't get out there. So, go on, Dill. It's okay. Never mind, you wrote it, we're in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? Some nice greenage. Mm hmm. Gonna do a quick little bowl of some Tangerine Dream from the same garden. What am I doing? I almost ruined it. Get low on the, on the hemp wick. Gonna have to refill the holder again. This is a sweet little rig. Everything's always nicer when it's clean too. I've always found that. As I've said numerous times, a clean rig makes for a happy lung. Yeah, so what else did we do while we were in the chill coat? And, oh yeah, they broke in this, this wonderful uh, piece here that I got from Good Guys Dispensary. Uh, and uh, Highly Chronic, I think, is the name of the head shop in there. Nice little rig, so yeah, he broke it in with a 21 strain uh, gauntlet, but uh, check it out. I'm sure Mudflat said he was down there somewhere. Ooh. Can't see him anyway there. What are you doing in here, buddy? Hey, 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 it's your friendly neighborhood mud flap. You smoking all the chilies hash? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Actually, what I'm doing in here is looking at this fucking gun like you have to do. You know there's 21 strains down here, don't you? Holy shit. You are doing the gauntlet, aren't you? 21 strains in my new rig? <laughs> One way to break it in? I got a new pipe. You're going to break it in with all of these. 
Are you up for the challenge? I'll give it a go. All right, well. Let's have a little bit of <laughs> Just to start the challenge. <laughs> A good way to warm up. Gotta love how that kind of fits in your hand, don't you? That Simpson rig is uh, nice. I do like how that fits. Oh, it's all the Simpsons. Yeah. And the tasty hashes, too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna show a little bit of the sift here. Probably not light enough in here for you to see that, but. Some of the finest sift. All right, well, now that you can see what this gentleman is up to, even though it is a little dark because this is the storage cabinet that we kind of snuck down here to have a little boo at the boo oh, stack. Get back to our hashes and uh, our daunting little task ahead. Grind away <laughs> we go. I am looking forward to it. Yeah, on the other side. 21 different cultivars of some organically grown cannabis. What Chris is going to do today, he's going to break in the old mud flappers, the brand new piece purchased in the puddle at Good Guys in Highly Chronic. So, this is yet to be named, but uh, we have an idea. So I'll get to grinding and he'll get to pulling bong rips. All right. Do you have any particular uh, flavor you want to start with? Or is it dealer's choice? I think it's dealer's choice. It's going to be. All right. Well, I got a little something something. It's, 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 nice break. Yes. it's got I a good break in it. Good chug mm. on this piece. Definitely. There you go. Nice. Number yeah, two. Yeah, that is really, really nice. nice. That is really nice. Yeah. It's smooth as well. Yeah, mud flap likes you. Here we go. Nice put. little mud flap size bong rips. Good job. Good. They do the job, especially when they uh, add it. What a mud flat flavor. The old holy grail kush. The ugly ass bitch that you still like to bang when no one's looking. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not trying to be mis- Holy grail kush. Are oh, we taking a breathing for a second here, buddy? Yeah? It's about the time we had a break. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I'll like this for you. <laughs> Tad warm? Yes, very. It's just because you're red. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a little English lobster. I feel hot. <laughs> Coffee. We're checking your impairment levels. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do this beforehand. No, no. You couldn't <coughs> operate hemp wick and drink a beer and take bong rips before undertaking this challenge. This is progress. Bro! Oh, yeah. <coughs> nice work. Well, you know, you did have something there. If you want to wave that like the white flag and quit, we completely understand. I don't see it as that type of thing. It's not like I want to put any pressure on you that I have these expectations that you're not going to be able to meet. Cool after or not, buddy? Throat. Just the random act of blatantly consuming so much cannabis. All in the pursuit <coughs> of science. Okay. Just look at look how much I'm putting in. See? Yeah. Just to give you a nice taste of it. Just a bit of taste. <coughs> yeah. I need like five minutes. <coughs> Well, the cheerleaders. <laughs> Yay! Go, Chris, go. <laughs> oh no, he's got to get it close. <laughs> I heard about the whole five minutes between each trip. So, who's really good at math? 21 times five minutes is how many minutes? 105. So that would be an hour and a half. Like we're gonna do that in a fraction of the time to save the good folks at home, right? Yeah. I guess we could have taken our time and did a time lapse, but that's not quite as entertaining now, is it? <laughs> I suppose not. There we go. For you. See, you're having a nice little break right now. I'm relaxing with you. Here, I'll sit back too. There we go, folks. We're gonna have a siesta for 30 seconds. 
Two two thirds of the way there. Two thirds. Yeah. Yeah. Seven left out of twenty one. You're doing fantastic. Uh, <laughs> and it's not like <laughs> 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 yeah, touchdown. That's a bet. No, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone needs some. <laughs> someone needs yeah, some right hash. <laughs> Get that mad hash. Stop. Hash monkey. <laughs> hash monkey. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one special. You know why? The jar was upside down. But now. Girl Scout cookies. Nice. We'll be rock and rolling. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. First bong rip done with the Girl Scout cookies. We'll be done by God for Saint Customs. <clears throat> On making clouds. Mud clouds. New bong. Atta boy. Ready everyone? Hit it. Chris. 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 Apparently, 21 ball grips wasn't enough. <laughs> 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 Alright, you know. Always scared of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a leg bong here. It's a half man bong in England. <laughs> the half pint? Yep. No, that's, a, that's pretty much a British pint right there. Yeah. Oh, that's stacked. That's beauty. There you go. Yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> hey, you did. Yeah, did. Yeah, you no did. No problem. He was hitting those mothers, eh? That's yeah, just a little bit of uh, us hanging out doing that. Oh, that was kind of cool. There was a little bit of footage of uh, me before his gauntlet hanging out in the cellar. And then obviously us getting upstairs and doing it. Oh, I do love this rig. Small enough that I'll be able to take with me if I ever want to go somewhere too. And just have a nice little piece that holds a good chunk of water. If I so desire. So we're hitting the tangerine dream hard here today. Had a little bit of bubble hash earlier in the morning. Go figure me having bubble hash in the morning. And I started uh, putting together the video for tonight because I still had it somewhat fresh in my mind from yesterday doing the other part of the farewell cannon and that. I was trying to do it all in one day, one quick uh, put together, but uh, there was just too much footage to do it all in one. As you can see, they're hitting to be over 20 minutes long, and I try to keep them roughly around there. I don't want to... We can take up too much of everybody's time, and I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me, but well, she's just pouring outside again right now, and I just, I got nothing to say good about that, because I've been wanting to take my plant out, and I can't get out to Buddy's Farm to do it until it dries out a little bit, so we will just wait patiently. Hopefully can get it tonight. Well, it'll be tomorrow now. Fuck. This is going to be working for a living thing, so I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> Just so busy now. I'm having such a good time not working. With so much to do. Makes me not want to get back to it. Which I kind of figured after having three weeks off that I would have some sort of uh, feeling like that too. But what are you going to do, right? So I guess what I'm going to do is have another little bowl here. Hey guys. I've already shown you a little bit of hash that I've been sneaking down here. Sneaking, it's it's an open bar here basically. We were welcomed into their home with open arms, told to step in the door, and everything else has just been help yourself this whole week. It's just amazing the hospitality that these two people have shown us. Uh, I can't say how close I feel to these two because they have made me feel like family, made me feel better than family makes me feel. So it's very hard to think that uh, we have to leave this place tomorrow. 
and when somebody shares their hard-earned hashes with you, they've grown and worked from day one and then separated and cared for and handed to you and just said, go, enjoy, have fun with it. It uh, touches my heart. It's for you, buddy. nothing better as a hash lover that I am feeling right now. Oh, you gotta love you gotta love it. Thank you my friend. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So on that final note we will have this bowl and bid you a fair adieu. Almost lit it. I'm feeling good. Feel fun. I must say, I did have some hashes this morning, quite a bit, because it's been raining and crappy. Cheers. Dream, dream, and we are feeling just fine. Anyways, my friends, thanks for joining me. Got us a couple nice bowls, a couple little stories, and some footage there for you to enjoy. Thanks for joining me once again. I do appreciate you hanging out. I'm hoping you're finding my vacation footage fun. And you know, even if you're not, I am finding it fun because normally I wouldn't have that stuff to go back and look at. It would just be up here. So it's really nice to, for me to go back and see that stuff. And I'm sure that uh, the folks that were along with it too, if they're catching it, a lot of personal meanings in some of the sayings there uh, that the group will kind of get. And you guys might too from hanging along with us. But thanks again. Be proud of your thoughts. Bonjour. <laughs> I think they call this the Wii in the other country. Okay, forget it. <laughs>